there for your dad's coffee morning. Oh. Highlight of your social calendar, hey Sandy? Ah, oh, well now, <clears throat> I've been seriously considering rearranging my socks drawer. <laughs> right, OK, I'd best get to work. No, no, no. no. Look, no, no, we talked about it all night, OK? We what have... are you whispering about now? If you're plotting to lure me there against my will... I can't ignore last year. My drink problem, actually. No, 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 no you're not listening to me, though, are you? Can we go to the party? Oh. Go on, then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and don't forget to brush your teeth. This is impossible. I'm sorry. Yes, OK, OK. Um, I'll take the day off. I'll speak to Nikhil. They owe me lots of time off. I can't get out of this coffee morning. No, I'll come with you. We'll grab an hour washing up or something. Kieran, if you knew what it meant to your dad to be with Johnny, you're spending time with his grandchild for the first time. Yeah, and it'll be the last time, too, if I've got anything to do with it. Oh, come on, you can't keep this up forever. I don't want him in Johnny's life. Get the message. Sharma and Sharma. Oh, Laurel, hi. Oh, Kieran, sorry. Hey, no, Rishi, listen. OK, a bit more notice would have been useful, but that's fine. You're absolutely All right, right. see you tomorrow. Bye. I owe it to Johnny to take some proper time off. Now? Yeah, paternity leave. A couple of weeks, I'll just see how it goes. What about the business, the supermarket deal? You've got a lot to pull around. Yeah, well, it's never going to be a good time, is it? And, you know, I can keep putting it off, or I can make my kid my priority. There'll be other deals. And who do you propose stepping in while you're gone? Your dad can clean No, you. come on. As if I can ever trust him again, or obviously the business go under. Hopefully there won't be a need for that. <sighs> Send me through the details. I can keep things ticking over. Really? Rishi, honestly, look, I wasn't saying that so you could bail me out. You go and have your time with Johnny, hmm? I think of myself as his family, too. Mate, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, Bob, can we borrow some teaspoons for the village hall? They've all gone walk about. Yeah, well, I'll get them back. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll frisk everyone when they leave. <laughs> Laurel? Could I give me a break for a bit? Uh, no, I've got a coffee morning. Got an urn on boiling point. <laughs> you know the feeling. He was doing gymnastics in his car all night. That's why the little brat doesn't sleep. Is that why meanie mommy dumped you, eh? Nicola, don't. You've got no idea what she's gone through. You know, nobody gives up a baby unless I've got no choice. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ignore me. Let me guess. Up all night unpacking, and now you're Ashley's tea lady. Hmm? Can you tell the day off? No, I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I mean, I can't keep it, obviously. Oh, uh, right, OK. Well, I'm a recovering alcoholic and I've got Ashley to think about. You know, we can't look after a baby with what we're facing. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Really. You know, as long as Ashley doesn't think it's anything to do with his dementia. What? Well, having an abortion's bad enough, isn't it? But I just don't want him blaming himself. Doesn't do you? Oh, yes, lovely, thank you. So... You'll let him blame you? Yeah, no, it's my issue, not his. Thanks, Bob. Ta. Thanks. It's a routine castration, but I, I can easily, I can easily move that. Don't you dare! That drug is a rampant menace. Oh, sorry, Penny. I, I forgot about your conference. It's so I... fine. We will cancel it. It's welfare and ethics. We've sat through it a million times. No, I, I could do with refreshing. Since when? You're normally snoring your head off by lunchtime. Well, professional development's healthy, isn't it? We could all learn something new. Am I cancelling one place or two? Well, just mine, apparently. So I'll cover surgery while Paddy's being a creep. Once you've done that, you just get off to your coffee morning. It's fine. We all make mistakes. I need the afternoon off, too. Well, Lily's poorly. Oh, no. Well, so hang on a minute. Doesn't she live down south somewhere? Yes, in Bournemouth. Now, I know I can't go, but the least I can do is take Edna to the station. She's staying a while to look after her. You should get down there. When we're not as busy. Hmm. Not tomorrow, then. Hiya. Got a job up Scarborough way today, if you fancy to drive out. Oh. So you are working today, then? Victoria told me that you'd had some time off. Yeah, well, I've got a contact up there who's got a lot of old-school radiators. Rusty radiators. It's tempting. Well, that bit won't take long. I just thought we could get some lunch somewhere. Busy. Sorry. You could always take Robert. Mum, I told you there's nothing going on. Yeah, no, you did. But the evidence suggests otherwise. He's a mate, that's all. Anyway, none of my business, is it? Have fun. 
You want time off as well? It must be catching. <laughs> well, unpaid, of course. Nah, I thought that... Maybe I'd go and visit Mum for a while. And uh, would this have anything to do with your brother and Layla? It's, uh... It's no fun. Not watching them play houses. I thought so. And they don't need me hanging around either. <laughs> so good luck to them both. You know. And I really do mean that. Maybe you could make happier than I did. Dad? Hiya. Hiya. Uh, we're having another wine taster later, so uh, send your customers my way. Yeah, I'll put one up for you. Anything you need to know, just ask me. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lisa, I wondered if you could spare me a moment. Uh, Bob, could you get a wiggle on with them butties, please? It's spell I'm here about, really. She's missing her dad, poor little soul. She's hardly said two words to him for fear of upsetting you. You lecturing me about my daughter? This driving lesson ban is punishing them both. You're breaking Zach's heart. I'm not the one who took Belle away from him. It was you interfering Trollope. Ladies, now, come on, you're better than this. With your brassy hair and your stupid songs, he didn't stand a chance. You can insult me as much as you like if it stops you playing the martyr. <laughs> Zach just wants to help to do his bit as a father, and you stopping that is cruel. She despises him even more than I do. You self-righteous tart. Can I get you anything else, ladies? No? Oh, I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, yes, well, it was all a bit last minute. Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of priorities now. Sorry? I mean, Ashley needs you more than the factory. That's... A uh, squash cake in the kitchen. I'll take over here. Now then, Pearl, tea or tea? I'm afraid the coffee is vile. Well, I'll have a cup of tea, then. Priorities. The pregnancy must come pretty high. Yeah, in a perfect world. The doctor said new challenges are good for me. I should carry on as normal for as long as I can. Ashley. A baby, Laura. Think about it. I'll be on the go all the time, not worrying about my symptoms. This is a blessing. Yeah, but I'm not even eight months sober. I told you. You're a great mum. I don't buy that that's the reason. Please, don't sacrifice this child because no, of me. No, I'm not. OK, but I have to put myself first. You know, I could easily relapse if I'm feeling overwhelmed. Then we'll make sure I mean, that Actually, I just got my job back, OK? You know, after the whole village treating me like a drunken idiot. I'm back on my feet again, and you want me to give all this up for what? A mountain of washing and dirty nappies? You can still work. You always did with Arthur. I mean, no, but I, d I don't want a baby, OK? That is the last thing I want. What if you got pregnant with Marlon? <sighs> would you feel the same? Well, I didn't, thank goodness. And, yes, I would, yeah. I can't abort our baby, Laurel. Even if I thought it was right, I just can't. Yeah, and I can't have it, OK? This child will be loved. Like Arthur, and Gabby, and Daniel. <sighs> okay, you listen to me. I am not one of your parishioners. So we have a full blooded Shiraz with notes of licorice and dust. Dust? Yeah, that's what it says. Chalky texture. Hmm. What a chalk. I'd lick a blackboard. Next. OK, this is for the more sophisticated palette. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Jimmy out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fruity and robust Pinot Noir with overtones of blackberry and plum. Mm. £14.99 a bottle. It's a bargain. You should get yourself a case. Mm. More crisps? Mm. Laurel? What are you doing? Nothing. I, I just thought this was squash or cordial or something. <sighs> Laura, I'll give it to me. Come on. For an inch of rubbish wine, it's really not worth it. And I wasn't here for you last time, but I am now OK. So whatever the problem is, we can sort it. That isn't going to help. God. Shh, it's OK. 
Please don't tell Ashley. Mm. I had a word with Lisa about Belle. Oh, like. It's just not right. Using her daughter to fight her battles, she has to move on. But that went down well. She basically called me an interfering trollop. Then things got a bit more heated. I'm so sorry, Zach, but it needs saying. Yeah, just <laughs> bad timing, lover. It's our wedding anniversary tomorrow. That'll be why she kicked off. Oh, you remembered? I'm impressed. Well, only because our AB Nyland sent this card. And only then because he, he wants us to house oh. sit for him. Is that your belly? It's disgusting, that. That was your gassy guts bubbling away. My guts aren't gassy. Sure, yeah. Kyle? Oh, is it play group? What the hell is that? Free <laughs> <laughs> bacon. Of all the petty, small minded. Yeah, get out of there. How are you doing? You wanted to help? Huh? Now's your chance. Come here. Over here. Hey, hey, hey. Who's Come the up. flaming martyr now, eh? Come up. Hey, Come, hey. On. Come, Come here. Come on. Come on. Here. Come hey. on. Hey. Hey. Uh, I can't remember if it was lunches or packed today. It's back home on a Wednesday. I've got a TA meeting them late. I've got a couple of days off. We can go away if you want to. If I want it? Yeah, it's, it's um... It's a hotel. It's, it, it, it's for a conference, and it's work, but I reckon I can swear that bit. I just... I, I'd really love us to spend a bit of time together. What about school? Well, you'd probably try and accuse me of stealing the hotel towels, wouldn't you? <laughs> Tess, stop. This is me trying to prove to you that I'm sorry. How sorry? Well, I'm here, Anna. I really missed you. Well, in that case, I might be able to feel one of my migraines coming on. Is that a yeah? Bottle of champagne and swing it. You can have whatever you want. You can have a bath of champagne if you want. <laughs> it's all right. Just bubbles will do, as long as you're in there with me. Come on, come on! Hold that bottle! All yours now! We can't keep from here, Lisa! I haven't got the time! You should have made arrangements! They trap on Kyle's scooter! I'm rooting through my flaming bins! Yeah, well, they do anything for a pile of rancid rubbish! For God's sake, woman, have some dignity! Says she! Hypocrite! Husband stealer! Your man's gone bonkers! Is someone going to do something, or do I have to fire up the odd roast? Well, will you talk some sense into her? No, you've asked for this. Come on, Mum. Come on. Out! Well, I, I, I don't even know where to start or who to go to. I mean, I've been to an STI clinic and that was horrible enough. You see a doctor and they're very understanding. Oh, yeah, yeah. And judgmental and patronising. I mean, what, how could I have got in this situation at my age? Why did I let it happen? Well, you shut up and listen to someone who's been through it. I was 18. First year, my mum had let me go on holiday on my own. And I fell totally in love with this gorgeous barman. My mum said she'd support me in whatever I wanted to do. Well, your mum said that? Hmm. Reverse psychology. I realised I had a choice. That I didn't have to change my whole life just because I didn't know the Spanish for condom. Yeah, I know. It was different then, cos you were a teenager, weren't you? Hey. And I've had plenty of grown-up relationships where I'd have done exactly the same. It's not about maturity, Laurel. It's the situation you're in. How many weeks are you? Because I know it's not pleasant, but we can make the problem go away. It, it, I'm not like this because I'm pregnant. It's because I can't face losing my baby. I mean, uh, an abortion. God. Oh, yeah, but I have to have it done because Ashley might have a stroke at any time, but, and this time he might not recover. But, you know, Nicola, I have to have it done soon because every day now is killing me and I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to let it go. <sighs> I haven't finished. 
finished yet. That's your third cup of tea. You've had your 50 pence worth. Laurel told me about her condition. Have you decided what you're doing? There's nothing to be done. She's worried about the dementia. That's the only reason. You make that sound like it's nothing. I am not letting it define me. To rob me of my beliefs, my child. I may as well book straight into a hospice. Give up now. I think it's any easier for Laurel. She doesn't want to abort this baby. She has to. It's the only sensible choice. I disagree. Oh, because you're living the moment, aren't you? Treasuring each day as it comes. Well, it's rubbish, Ashley. This is about planning for the future. When she's going to have her hands full feeding and wiping you. And you want to add a baby to the mix. I'll tell you what. If you guilt trip her into going ahead with this pregnancy, you're the most selfish man alive. You're asking me to sacrifice my principles and my grandchild for Laurel, who I love more than anything else in this world, and so should you. She's laying down her life to support you. And you're putting your conscience first. What's wrong with you, man? This isn't about my conscience. This is everything I believe in. This isn't a debate. It is a child. My child. You cry for it. If it makes you feel better, you shed as many tears as you like. But not in front of Laurel. No sentimentality. No wavering. Can you do that for her? Her heart's broken enough without you making it worse. They can't stay here. What are you going to do with them? Uh, well, I'll just tell her that I'll do my fair share with them up there. I just wish I could work things out with our bell. The dust will settle one day. We just have to wait longer. Aye. Uh, maybe I should take our air up on his offer and uh, go into hiding. <laughs> Not without me, you don't. I'm public enemy number one. Both of us, then. <laughs> you fancy Ireland this time of year? Never been. Hey. Then why don't we? Hey, seriously? It's a decent enough little place. And... Oh. You're not allergic to budgies, are you? <laughs> no. But the invite's for Lisa, not me. <laughs> I really won't be bothered. <laughs> what about Kyle? Ah. Hmm? Uh... Well, maybe we could ask Kerry to look after him. Hey, she'd love that. OK. Well, look up the ferries. I'll tell him where to leave the key for us. Hey? I'm just going to figure out how to get these back up there. Remember that brilliant idea you had yesterday? No. About buying the pub, keep up. <laughs> well, I think I might have found myself. A potential alternative business partner, you know, just in case. Who? Oh. oh, no, I can't say anything. Secret. Oh, Charles, it's dodgy, isn't it? Nothing dodgy. Have some faith, Lise. No, oh, let's just say in a month or so, everyone's going to get what they want. Hmm? But I can't say anything about it, just in case I jinx it. Sorry. <laughs> I waited for you at the coffee morning. I bumped into Nicola. I told her. Sorry, I told Dad too. I found that out. Ashley, um... It's fine. You needed to talk. And I wasn't exactly being supportive. And I should have been truthful to you. Mm. It is about your dementia. I can't care for a new baby and look after you. You have to be my priority. You know, 
the rest of the time that we have together, however long. I don't want anything taking away the focus from you. You understand? Yeah, and, and, and if that means losing our baby, if that's a choice that we have, then I pick you. No, I know. I can't do both. It's just... It's not fair, is it? Please don't hate me, Ashley. Please. I don't hate you. Um, I love you. I was too wrapped up in my own feelings before. Yeah, and I love you too. I just wish things were different. Oh, me too. But we're on the same side now. Put things in motion. Do what needs to be done. You're not on your own. Next, it's Coronation Street, and Ken is her knight in shining armour, but will Audrey be honest about her feelings? Then, in half an hour's time, a new investigation for Barnaby and Nelson. The cycling champion is killed in Midsummer Murders.